How's it going everyone? Wild Thang here and welcome to a brand new Destiny video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade the Husk of the Pit. Now first off, if you haven't seen the video where I actually get the Husk of the Pit, go check that out. I'll put a link in the description and a link at the end of the video so you guys can go see how you actually get this gun. It's really easy, just make sure you don't get any damage when killing, killing the knight that you see in the video. Um, so anyway, let me just show you what the gun is. It starts off as a white gun. So it's like a very uncommon gun. Um, let me just show you. So yeah, this is what it starts off at. Got kinetic damage and cannibalism. Now the only up the only way to upgrade cannibalism is actually killing hive enemies. You can't get XP through doing bounties or anything like that. It's got to be killing hive enemies. Um, so that's easy. Just go to the moon. We do uh, the some of the missions on the moon. That would be easy. You just keep redoing them. Get a checkpoint, die, and then we repeat until you fill this up. So what we need is an embalming orb from Eris. So that's what I'm going to go do now. So everyone knows where Eris is. She's up here in the tower. What do they expect? Give me some so in. Right. Last. What we need it was an she orb. Was so this is it. Need ten black wax black wax idol. Need Dark Below DLC, obviously, and then Crota's Bane rank 3. So let's get that. So we have one. I don't know why... It, oh, not enough space. Okay. <laughs> just about to say, why didn't it let me do more? Um, okay, let's just wander down here. Alright, guys. Let's just open this up and upgrade this. So doing this will make it actually a legendary weapon. And then afterwards, you can actually upgrade it to an exotic when you've completed Crota's End on hard difficulty. But that is not available until January, unfortunately. Let's just do that. And there we go. We've got the Aido, Aidolon Alloy. Or Ali. <laughs> uh, auto rifle. So it's changed the name. It's not Hustler Pit anymore. It's Aidolon Ali. And we open up. So this is now an actual gun. Uh, the fire rate on this thing is ridiculous. But hopefully when you've upgraded it it might bring the stability up which will be useful um yeah so that one crux of crota that only drops in the hard raid for crota's end oh it takes ascendant energy i would have thought it'd be the uh, crota's end stuff um so yeah that only drops i think it's actually random as well when you complete crota's end raid on hard which is which will be available in january um, so there you go guys, that's how you get the Adelon Alley gun. Um, I will be doing a review on it again, just because I did one on Husk of the Pit. Um, but it looks a little bit better. The colour of it has gone a bit darker as well. Um, when you upgrade this again, it goes to what's called the Necrochasm, which is actually apparently the similar to Vex Mythoclast. Because uh, it's so rare, I guess. I don't know if it's probably going to be rubbish compared to it, but yeah, it's like the Vex Mythical class of Crota's End. Um, <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's how you get the Aidlon Alley get gun. Please do check out my other videos on how to get the actual Husk of the Pit. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one. And um, so starting from the top here, we obviously have the exotic helmet. Uh, I, I use this just because it's easier to get the rest of the armor through the raid than it is the helmets. Um, I've not really seen anyone with it. Um, so this one obviously goes up to like 36 because it is a new, a new exotic. Um, it's called